Alright, Ayo, what's up guys? Sorry about some humming the mic, but as you guys can tell by the title, I'm going to be showing you how to get any of the default dragon textures, I'm saying the base textures, for free now. I did subscribe to the Patreon and all that, but you didn't need to do that. So, um, uh, so I'm to hit. So you want to grab your Dragonfire mod. Uh, here. Now you can copy it. I'm gonna copy and paste it into here. I uh, right click you want to hit extract to dragon fire and whatever version. Now this is gonna take a while. Yeah, you just wanna let it go through that. <coughs> right, Taking ages, taking ages, taking ages. It is going to take ages. Though. It's a really big mod. Yeah, right now we are basically just all the files that are in the mod, we just put in into a folder. Um, so that's actually all it is. Once this has finished, I will um, pick out a texture, edit it, and yeah. Now, there are some bloody coding legends out there, so someone might, for example, take this .jar file and so I'll make it as an add on so you can edit the actual code of it. And then you could add in a new crafting recipe, or like you could craft the texture stones in the mod, and like put the or whatever. I'm not too sure. And what am I talking about? Anyways, so once it's all extracted and all that, you want to head into assets, drag and file, textures, then. Usually it'll be on model entity, but not for this. For this, it's on dragons, and then in archangel, these dinos, bone uh, fury. But yeah, so you can basically just take all of these. Edit textures, blah blah blah, flame spitter, there you go. Uh, now, one of my favourites, the Shadow Fury, I can edit the textures of it. I love this. So, let's say I want to change the texture of this one. Shadow Fury, you want to do Control C, enter any folder. I'm just going to create a new one, why not? Paste in there. right click open with paint.net you can use whatever i would use paint 3d but my paint 3d is glitched so i can't actually use it but let's say i'm going to set this to work bring this down let's say i want purple eyes instead of the blue and select a purple i like There we go. Mine up a bit to fit in. So cut there. Then if I want to get in depth to it, I can zoom in and use the pencil. Uh, 
Um. Oh god, control Z, undo that, undo that, undo that. Oh no, never mind. No, we are not adding gradients, okay. It's doing red here. I mean like that, so what I am going to do is do there we go. Click off. What I am going to do is grab this brush tool here, set ten I'm going to go for 7, yeah. So this will... Uh, no, actually let's grab this tool here. Push you with that. Grab this red. There we go. Up here is the wings, I believe. Uh, this is the eyes. These are just the body parts. I'm not 100% sure on the Shadow Fury, to be honest. On most of them, I have no idea what other stuff is. But yeah, that's the change I want to make to the Shadow Fury. Just save it. So is that now? I'm going to do Shadow Fury underscore custom. You can just make sure you have the underscore then and you can put whatever you want there. I say I like it if it's all lowercase, but you can do uppercase, just no spaces. So once you have that done, uh, by the way, you can pull this up by holding down home press and R, then one seven percentage, update the percentage, just hit OK. And to uh, dot Minecraft. For me, it's in the essentials because I have the essentials mod. But for you, it will just be normal in here. For you, you will just head into config by the leave my config. So I kind of need the essential stuff. But yeah, so in here, it's a uh, config, I'm blind. Uh, config, then one head to dragons, textures, and in here. So you want to create a new folder. For me, it's going to be shadow underscore fury I'm gonna grab the sum pool dot whatever to name this the things of me is gonna be shadow fury just without um, the underscore two there we go so inside this folder here you want to drag and drop your texture and then in the JSON the dragon just double check it yeah so no underscores no caps okay shadow fury name of the texture I'm just gonna do the actual name of the texture doesn't matter but yeah so for the path of it is going to be shadow underscore fury uh, forward slash and then shadow fury underscore cust so the path here is the name of the folder and then the name of the image. Just make sure the image is .png as well. Probably can't even hear a single thing I'm saying because the buzzing in the mic or whatever. Yeah. 
and for the sprites you would do the exact same but yeah there you go so now that we have that done if we uh, open up the minecraft launcher here and uh, hit play All right, now that's done. It's just a random world for testing. As you can see, I got the texture on the next screen. But if I just grab an orb again, you don't need to grab the dragon orb, whatever. But uh, we need a shadow fury. Boom! Oh, nah. What I'm gonna do is. This is it normally. I don't like the Shadow Fury rare variant, but the normal one is fine then custom. Which is actually the exact same as the normal, the only difference is the eyes, which looks sick. I mean, it's not the best, it's just the difference between the darkness of the colour that it goes to bright pink and bright red. I like that. Yeah, as you can see the in the top uh right is the wings. So yeah, I was correct about that. And that little marking bit is these here. They have the slightly lighter bits. Publish there. Wow. But yeah. This is what it looks like when you're riding the night fairy around. Then this guy. Is the Shadow Fury faster? The Shadow Fury is faster. I think at least. Huh. That's pretty damn awesome. But yeah. Um I did post a few things on my uh YouTube channel about uh Dragon Jesus about Dragonfire and uh just to let you guys know I did have like a million textures for every single dragon that I custom made myself but to free up space I I deleted the default Minecraft config folder, I deleted everything inside and that got rid of all the textures as well. So literally like almost an entire year of work ruined. But yeah, that's how you add in um okay. <coughs> okay then. That's how you add in textures and create textures. Uh hope you guys enjoyed, hopefully this helps you. If you need any help, uh contact me. You don't need to extract the entire um, dragon for the fin horn. Yeah. You don't need to uh, do this. I'll. Um, what's it called? Uh, textures. 
I'll put both the crap. I'll put both of these into a folder, and um, yeah, I'll put both of these into a folder and put them on my website, which will be in the description. But yeah, in particles with this, you can literally change everything. I love stuff. Though. Models, entity, yabble yeah, dot. Fire mages, frogs, like wolves, hermit crab. But yeah, I'm gonna be putting both of these into a folder, put them on my website. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed and goodbye. Have a nice day.